right, Drive Radio fans. Uh, today, John Rush, your host. Richard Rush, of course, is behind the camera. Today, we've got the 2014, and I know there's a new model, 2015 out, Toyota Sienna minivan. Uh, this is the, the 2014 year. We'll do the 2015 once that becomes available for us to drive. But this is the 2014 model. Nice, stylish minivan. And again, uh, Toyota's done a great job in the minivan market. Any of you that have owned one in the past know what I'm talking about. Uh, minivans have taken sort of a back seat here the last several years to the luxury SUVs. And we as journalists, uh, not really sure why that's the case. There's still a lot of great functionality in a lot of the minivans that are on the market and Toyota's done a great job with their minivan. 3.5 liter engine, runs extremely well. We've averaged around 24 miles to the gallon. In the short review, my son Richard talks about how this particular vehicle, 24 miles to the gallon, $48,000 is what this car as it sits, which is, by the way, is a limited all-wheel drive version of the Sienna, uh, $48,000. The way this particular vehicle sits, you'd have to spend over that to get a luxury SUV that's equipped the same way this car is and not have the same functionality. Granted, it's an SUV, it's a different look, etc., and I get all of that, but folks, sometimes you need to look at the functionality of a vehicle more so than how it looks and how you look in it. Get rid of the emotion and get down to the facts of what you're actually buying. And I think when you do that, you'll find that the minivan still fits a lot of family families in their needs. So let's take a walk around real quick. Uh, here, front end up here, Richard, we'll talk about it real quick. And I, I apologize, again, we're in the southern sun here during the winter months in Colorado. So our lighting gets a little bit worse and we try to find a nice quiet place. We do these in the morning, so it just kind of is what it is. I apologize for that though. But good, decent styling. Again, the 2015 has a little bit of a different look to it, but the 2014 still a great value of a car. They've done a great job with it. Come around to the back, the back looks good. Again, very functional, nice big back window. So when you're inside looking out, it's a very visible car. The other plus that a minivan has that I will say, uh, very few blind spots. It's an easy car to see out of. Uh, very easy to maneuver around. I mean, again, if you haven't driven a minivan in quite some time, I would suggest that you do, uh, because to Richard's point in the short review, the car really is very versatile, very functional, very quiet inside on the interior. And, you know, speaking of the interior, typically we go for a drive right now, but I think we're going to change up today's review. Some cool things this vehicle has. We'll just do the interior right now. So I, I hit a button, I can open the back. I hit another button, I can open both side doors. Folks, there's not an SUV on the market that you can do that with. Only minivans have the ability to do that. So, with just a touch of the key fob, I've now opened both side doors and the rear, and you can see how functional the inside of this is. Again, sorry for our lighting, but we've kind of positioned this already. The back seat's up. You can still see how much room is behind the back seat for storage, which it's deep, which gives you a lot of room up for a lot of tall items. Uh, it's very easy to put the other seat up. You just grab the handle, lift it up, and that would go up. We've got, again, the interior position, and I want to I want to get inside and kind of show you how this works and how versatile these minivans are. So over on this side, on the passenger side, middle seat, we've got it back a little bit further. These seats on the Sienna are adjustable, so all I have to do is raise this lever, and I apologize, I'm kind of doing this a little bit backwards to kind of give you a better camera view. All you do is, is move that to give the back seat passengers more or less room. One of the things Richard was talking about that's kind of cool, it's got a little recliner here on the front where it looks like you're in your lazy boy. So really, really a great feature. But as I climb in, you know, it just doesn't take much, even for somebody, you know, again, I'm 5'10", I can climb right into the back seat. This seat's back quite a ways to give that person plenty of room. I've got plenty of room back here. This other seat, if it was up, we could put three people across the back here, two people here, two people there, and have a lot of room and a lot of functionality inside the vehicle. Double sunroof, as, as, which we didn't talk about earlier. Double sunroof here, one up front. The other cool feature this car has, let me climb back up here in the front. I'll just sit back in one of these seats. Split screen entertainment system. If we had two DVDs, we could show you a headphone. So if you're sitting back here, split screen, I can watch what I want to watch. They can watch what he wants to watch. Little bag, you know, things to keep bags. If you got grocery bags, things like that, you can hook them on right here, which is kind of a cool feature. Storage pockets. The other cool thing about this car, Console comes back, you could put a purse or a bag or something down there. These people still have their cup holders available. And again, I can adjust this seat even on the fly. So if I want to move up to give people in the back more room, or if I want to move it back, and I want to kick up my recliner, I can do just that. And I could even go back, by the way, even further. And again, I'm, I'm, my legs are a little long to get this recliner all the way up, but if I was a, if I was a shorter person, I'd have all sorts of room here with the, with the recliner and the lazy boy. So kind of a cool feature. Uh, I think we'll just jump right to the front. Let me close all this stuff up. We'll leave the doors open, climb into the front here. 
And, and again, to Richard's point, this, the front of this car, lots of room, lots of comfortability, a lot of great features. I can, by the way, control the doors opening and closing from inside here. Uh, sunroof again in the front, the infotainment system, which is the Intune system. Uh, triple mode controls for the HVAC. We can control driver side, passenger side, and the rear. Lots of great storage compartments inside of here. You've got the center console. You've got a place in front of the console, again, to lay another bag. You've got another set of cup holders here. So right now there's two, four, six cup holders right here, plus two in the door pockets, makes eight right off the bat. There's also cup holders in the rear that work really well. Storage compartments in the front. You've got a nice glove box with different compartments there. Another glove box down below. So compartment above, compartment below. Again, this car is just great. Place a, uh, for your sunglasses or you want to see what little, little Johnny's doing in the back. You can see what's going on back there through that. And again, minivan is very, very functional. Again, they've taken a kind of a hit here lately. Bad stereotype, you know, from all the years of the, the soccer moms, etc. But really, they're a very functional family vehicle. And I'm glad to see that Toyota and, and some of the other manufacturers are still making them because I still think there's a market for them. Where the, where, will there be a resurgence in these vehicles? That I can't answer, but the Toyota CN is a great vehicle. And tell you what, now that we've done all the interior, let's go for a drive. We'll kind of show you how the thing rides, how the interior works. But I'll tell you right now, uh, for the money, this car's a really good buy. And if you're in the market and have a larger family and you're in the market for a new vehicle, this one would be a tough one to beat because of all the functionality that's got. But let's take a drive we'll, and we'll, we'll finish up the review. All right, folks, we're going to do the driving portion. What we thought we would do is just show you how, how, how versatile the actual vehicle is as far as how to, to work the controls, the, the doors, etc. So both doors are still open along with the rear. I can just touch the button, shut the rear hatch. I can also push the buttons and shut both side doors. By the way, there's a sunshade on this back one. I think Richard can show you real quick. There's a sunshade on these back windows, which works really well for those of you that have kids. That just pops up and gives you a little bit of sun, which actually we'll use for our, our taping here uh, throughout the rest of the review. But you can you can tell just from me sitting in here now, we've got all the doors shut and how quiet things have become. Nice armrest, by the way, on these captain's chairs in the front. This is a very comfortable vehicle to drive, by the way. Push button start on this particular model put it in gear and again like like we've always talked about it does have the backup camera ability which it's hard to see with our lighting here but it does have a backup camera it shows you exactly where you're going and I know that's hard to see but full infotainment system we won't get into all of that because those are the things you need to just go and play with on your own anyway so let's just take a drive and show you how it works but but again you can tell the cabin's big and uh, on the interior you can tell by kind of the the way my voice is and the the echo that's inside of here there's a lot of room inside of these vehicles but this car is very very comfortable to drive uh, you know, I'm kind of I'm kind of laughing because again the minivans get a bad rap, but they really do work really well. Even my son was commenting, I kept giving him a bad time about, hey, this might be your new vehicle once you get married and ha start having some kids. And at first he thought, yeah, Dad, you're just as crazy as it gets. Well, after driving this thing a little bit, I think he's even come to the conclusion that you know what, these aren't all that bad. They're easy to park. Uh, the nice thing about the, the parking of them is, as you can see, getting people in and out, there's no doors to swing out on the back. So when you've got car seats and things like that, you're trying to load and unload inside the vehicle. It's a sliding door that gives a big opening rather than having to have a door that swings out and an SUV that you're moving seats around, climbing people over to get into the back, etc. And we just went through a very big section here bump-wise, and you can see that you know this vehicle is just as smooth as it gets. Again, why people are out buying big, heavy, full-size SUVs when you can buy a minivan that, by the way, I've got a friend of ours, a really good friend of ours, that's driving a similar minivan to this that's getting upwards of about 250,000 miles on it, and that thing is still going strong and still works well. So, you know, you can't say that the longevity of these isn't as good as an SUV because they are. They've really built these vehicles well, and they work fantastic. And this one being an all-wheel drive model in our Colorado snow, uh, in the winters here would actually work fantastic unless you're going to go off-roading and go go trudging through a bunch of snow mud etc there's no reason to even have anything with any more ground clearance than what this has and by the way most people that drive an suv you know full-size suv i call them pavement princesses they never make it off-road anyway so a lot of people are buying full-size high wheeling suvs thinking they're going to go off-road with them someday and the reality is only a very small percentage of them actually end up going off-road and i can say that from experience from owning four-wheel drive stores for 30 plus years so it just doesn't happen that often so you know, i'm going to pull over here in just a minute and talk to you and kind of finish out the the review itself since we didn't get a chance to since we did the interior we kind of switched up the way we did the review today but let me pull over here for just a minute and kind of and kind of finish up here and, and i don't know if the lighting is good enough or not but uh, you know again as richard always says my son 
You've got to get in these vehicles. You've got to go out and drive it for yourself. Put your family inside of it. And, and by the way, th these minivans can be configured multiple different ways as far as how the interior is done. You don't have to get full leather. You don't have to spend $48,000 is my point. This car starts at a lot less than that. You, you can really get a great value in a minivan uh, compared to what you're going to spend on a full-size SUV. And by the way, a lot of that is because uh, the manufacturers, nothing against them, but they make more money selling SUVs than they do selling some of the other cars. So that makes the minivans really a great buy because they just, again, they just work really, really well. Uh, I know we keep saying that in a lot of the re reviews we talk about how good the cars work. Well, that's because in today's world, you know what, it's so competitive, it's hard to get in a car anymore and not have it work well. The biggest thing is finding a car that actually fits your needs. That's the biggest thing in buying a new car. That's why we always suggest, don't just take our word for it or any other reviewer that's out there. Don't take their word either. Go out, get in the car, drive it, spend some time behind the wheel. Not just a trip around the block. You've got to spend some time behind the wheel. Get your family in and out of it. You men out there, by the way, that are listening, don't just go buy a car, bring it home for your family thinking it's the best car. Take your family with you. Let them see the car. Be inside of it. You know, Get them around the vehicle to make sure that it's something. One of the recommendations I've always had for people, too, is, is you don't have to rent the exact same make, model, and year of the vehicle that you're trying to, to buy. Go rent something that's very similar to what you're thinking about buying. Rent it for three or four days. Put your family in it. Go see how it works and how it functions and whether or not your family fits that particular type of vehicle before you decide to buy it. So in other words, if you're going to look at a minivan or a full-size SUV, go rent one of each. It's the best money you'll spend trying to determine if that's the best vehicle for you. And that's some of the advice we give on our radio show every single week, which, by the way, you can listen to on drive-radio.com. We broadcast our YouTube channel right there on our homepage every single week. You can go to our YouTube channel, all one word, Drive Radio. You can also listen to us on the TuneIn app. That's an app that goes right on your cell phone, your, your smartphone, your PDA, however you want to do that. It's on iPhone and Android both, and it's uh, it's TuneIn is the name of the app. Just go there, and you can you can download the app. Look for 560 The Source here in, in Denver, so it's AM 560. That's the channel we're on. Look for that in the TuneIn app, and you can listen to us live every Saturday, 10 a.m., 1 p.m., Mountain Standard Time. So we're on three hours 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Mountain Standard Time here in the Denver market. And you can also listen to us online live at klz560thesource.com. So that's an easy way for you to listen to us, and we appreciate you listening to us, watching us on the on the reviews. And, uh, and, and again, if you've got comments, as Richard always says, let us know. We're doing our best to improve these reviews. If there's specific things about a car you want to know that we didn't talk about it, please let us know. Send us an email. By the way, you can go to our website, drive-radio.com. Send us any email you want. Let us know how we're doing. Send us a specific question. You can also put comments in under the review, and we'll answer those as quickly as we can. With that, we're out of here. We'll be back next week for another review. Thanks for joining us.